Greetings. This painting uh, is finished. Um, and I don't know whether it's done or not, but it is finished. It just finished. Um, this painting I call the um, Bird Woman of Uzbekistan. It really, I really didn't know what to call it, but just as I was doing it and studying Chinese and reading about China and the Silk Road and and then that brought me to reading some about the Uzbeks and and so this painting started out just basically as a geometrical color configuration oh I see yeah the little cat has come outside because she saw me out here <laughs> um, so, but then I started to think, you know, like with these mountainous areas back here, and this guy here came in, um, and, you know, the little bit of mountains over here. But as I was saying, the painting started out um, as a kind of a geometrical uh, color pattern, and originally went the spectrum around from, like, yellow to orange, and then over here, was red and then it went into purple and came around to the blue and the green and the yellow but as you can see it changed the red pretty much disappeared the red the red became this whole area in here with this fellow in the background going and uh, he, he, he came into the picture fairly late as did this eagle over here, the golden eagle. And uh, and the white, the white, it's interesting. That was early on where I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do. And then all these just flashes of white came across the picture, which I didn't know whether they would stay or not. And this one became a feather. So early on in the picture, I was thinking kind of, of a Native American woman, but because she put this hat on, with this kind of scarf coming down here, then that gave it a bit of a of a uh, Asian flavor, kind of a Chinese flavor, but and then uh, um, various different things continued to develop, and then the woman became the bird woman, um, and uh, the bird came out there, and I thought that that was kind of fitting, so this would be then in Uzbekistan and what the nationality of the woman is you know was questionable at first but we're going to say that she is an Uzbek Uzbek and we don't know what her religion is because um, my wife at one point came and said oh is she Jewish and I said I don't know but there are Jews in Uzbekistan and Muslims and probably other people but I prefer to think of her because of her quality as a bird woman, as being a uh, shamanist. And, uh, and then the question is, who is the man? And what is he doing? Well, I sort of think of her as um, this, uh, as maybe her husband who, or, or who she has sent off. He's wearing a robe that's the same color of the robe of some Buddhist priest that I used to know from Tibet and Nepal. One of them gave me his prayer bag, which was very nice. Um, only they, they don't wear that kind of a hat, but for the cold weather that might fit. So maybe that's a Buddhist monk, and maybe this woman is a Buddhist, although I say I tend to think of her as a shaman. So uh, she's an Uzbek woman, shaman woman, and the Silk Road used to pass through this valley um, on the way from Persia to uh, Xinjiang and on to China. And so I and the Buddhist monks would travel the Silk Road at that time, set up their monasteries by the road to get alms. So I tend to think of this as a tra as a wandering monk um, who is traveling through the country and has stopped because he heard of the bird woman. So he came to visit the bird woman 
and then he's on his way going west now through the mountains mountain passes to go to Xinjiang and then possibly on to China or he may head uh, down back south he may go back home um, to Tibet and into Nepal and then maybe visit some southern parts of China and Burma and then to India you know I don't know this is an area that's full of wonder and I hope that people after watching this will go look up these places Uzbekistan and the Chinese province of Xinjiang and research some of the history of the area Bactria and and Tibet and Tibet the rooftop of the world where great rivers originate and time moves somewhat more slowly than it does especially in these upper regions in these northern regions which once were a major travel route of the world the silk route, silk route but then have come to a time where ways are changing now but changing somewhat less quickly maybe very quickly for them this is a time of change